Hello, this is Jared playing Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode, I arrived at a new asteroid over here. And I was able to do that thanks to my carbon dioxide rocket. This guy here essentially has infinite storage of carbon dioxide in it. So basically, if this guy lands anywhere, it can fuel itself as well as any other asteroid or asteroid, any other rocket. And that's what I'm doing here, just taking the carbon dioxide out of this, pushing it into itself, into any other neighboring rocket. And then I was able to use this rocket to get over here. And we send Rover. The Rover's been exploring ever since. So, what are we doing this episode? Priority is this guy here. So I noticed this cool salt slush geyser. It's outputting brine. And it's dormant, but it's going to be active in under three cycles. And it's going to become overpressured pretty quick. Now, I don't want that to happen. This is very useful liquid. So, what I'm going to do is pump it out into an infinite water storage in this location. So, that's what these dupes are doing. I've got a number of dupes over on this world. This is kind of like the food production dupes. And they've been helping Pips plant stuff along here. And that's the focus. So we get a bunch of sleet wheat growing for future food. For the current food situation, we're on barbecue meat. Fully automated system, but we're getting very low on the input, which is the sandstone. So I'm wanting to pivot at some point to another food source. Though there is lots of sandstone I can dig around for the time being. But it's not going to last forever. So very much focusing with the pips on getting an alternate source of food. Finally, these guys over here, they, uh, they're they making a telescope. Not a high priority task. But I would say the next priority task is to build a platform on this world. And I want to get some of the resources between these two worlds. We want to get here, probably get some more Drekos. And then get over here and get some Gold Malgum and Thimble Reed Seed. Now I said more Drekos that I was lucky in the last episode. I don't know where this Dreko is. There's a... Somewhere he's crawling around the base. I'll go find him later. But we'll set up a stable for that uh, Draco, but we want to get additional Drekos. So all the Drekos that are here, I want to wrangle them and bring them back to the home world. Now, the issue I'm having is I need to have a Trailblazer module, but uh, I'm out of metal, so I have two choices. I can either go back to the home world, pick up that metal, or I can build a Rock Crusher. And I figure it's just easy, easier to build a Rock Crusher in this case. Reachable dig. What's it referring to? Can the dupes not... That's four tall. Hold on. Maybe I will try recreating this. Because I'm pretty sure there's no reason, no good reason why that can't fit in there. Rock Crusher. Okay, wait, that was weird. All right, moving on. Making use of my rovers. I only have so many dupes over here with all the other dupes exploring other asteroids. So very much still able to get a lot done on this home world by deploying rovers on it. Make sure we don't forget to send this rocket back so this dupe is able to get back. So we've got the Rock Crusher going in. I'm putting three gas masks here. Not so much because I want to have dupes be able to go in this direction. I just want to charge these gas masks up. I'm going to take them out and put three of them inside this rocket. Just so that when we're doing exploration, I'll have three charged gas masks ready to go. As soon as this Rock Crusher is created, I'm going to create, I think... Eight pieces should give me enough to create the 
trailblazer module, which I want to get on the rocket. Over on the oily asteroid, this rover is sealing off this guy. This is dormant now, but when it becomes active, I don't want to see excessive heat go all over the place. Because this place is already pretty hot. Thankfully, there's a lot of bisolite protecting the dupes, but uh, we don't need any more. So there we are. That That's sealed off. That's awesome. Next thing I'm doing, I notice there's some pieces exposed to space. So we'll get the rover to fill that in. So while I'm carving out this area for infinite liquid storage, just realized probably should set up conveyor loader to load in some food. Specifically, um, anything that I cook up here. I'm not cooking a lot on this asteroid. In fact, most of the food is imported from the other asteroid in terms of in the, in the form of barbecue meats. But pickle meal is here. It goes bad slowly, but we still should find a place for it. So what I'm going to do is tell the dupes, pickle da, 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 meal, put it in this fridge. And when this conveyor loader is there, this is what's going to actually put it in the deep freeze so it'll last forever. For the longest time, I've been relying on this cache of water. Still some available. But I better make preparations to hook this pump up when that uh, cache of water finally runs out. Not the last one that I have on this base. There still is this little area over here as well. But once I'm out of this, I'm pretty much just relying on geysers for water. We're creating some metal over on this asteroid. Once we have enough, we'll get a trailblazer on this rocket way up here. What do we get? Oh, snazzy green suit or acorn? I'm going to say actually the acorn. Back in the home world. Installing a pump here. I want to create a vacuum. And I'm not entirely sure... As you can see, sometimes I got water below, sometimes brine is above. If I had petroleum or oil, I think this would be a lot easier. And that's typically what I do when I put on an infinite liquid storage. But because I'm a little bit uncertain, I'm going to put the output pump on both the top and the bottom. And hope that brine's going to find a way to come in contact with water, either at the top or at the bottom. And keep pushing brine to the center so that can be pushed out. We'll pump out all the gas once we're closed off. Might as well clean up the material that's sitting in there. And we'll, uh, I guess, see how this goes. The other thing is I put in insulation around this just because it's a bit of a warm zone. Just want to ignore for the time being. How are we doing for... Oh, Geyser is going off. So we... Uh, I think I could do if... Actually, I think I'll have this ready. I was going to say I couldn't make a liquid reservoir, but uh, no, we're good. Over on this asteroid, looks like I need 400 kilograms of refined metal. So I think we actually need a bit more than I thought. Get that going. Looks like we've got gas mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undock these. One, two, three. And one by one, I'm going to move them onto my rocket. Explore. Just set them on the ground so they're available when the dupes go and need them on another asteroid. Or this stuff, for instance. So starting the process of pumping this out now that this area has been sealed off. Don't know exactly how long this takes, so I thought, you know what, let's just put in a liquid reservoir. I just don't want this thing to be overpressured and waste potential liquid. We have a glass forge. So this allows us to build things out of glass, such as solar panels. 
Just putting in a little bit more automation in here, so we'll have an auto sweep. We're going to store some sand here so the dupes don't actually have to put sand in themselves. We're on this asteroid. We've got down to this geyser, so I figured this was another cool geyser. That would be nice to dig out. Maybe we'll even give them a little bit more room just to dump their cool liquid. Not that we really need this one anytime soon. This is more of a long-term thing to have in the uh, later stages of the game, but it's nice to dig it out now. We still are looking for more aluminum. I'm running the rock crusher, so hopefully that will be ready to go pretty soon. I'm going to get a dupe to specialize in using the telescope astronomy skill. Now, for that one... Shovel, I was thinking you, but if I were to do that, how much would that upset you, I guess, is the question. Three, four, that would be close. I think I will either need to find a way to up the quality of life on this asteroid or skill scrub you. I'll have to think about that. So we've got this geyser outputting liquid, and this pump is taking it away and putting it into storage. We'll see how this goes. Seems to be happy so far. We're getting a mix of water and brine. Water's having no problem getting there. Brine, too, and even if it had issues, it would just go to the top for the time being. So it's looking happy so far. Dupes over in this world now have a nature reserve instead of a park upping their morale. Decided to up the morale instead of use the skill scrubber. So let's have a look at shovel. I think we can get away now with astronomy. Still upping the skills, gonna upgrade this to a washroom. And then I should uh be able to peer out, or my dupes can anyways, to see what some of these things are around this particular asteroid. Dupes on this world heard that decos are on their way, so we're going to make some deco uh, stables to take advantage of. fridge that I had here used to be in carbon dioxide, but the dupes have been digging down so much that carbon dioxide has been falling down, so I figured this is a better place. Oh, hold on. It would have been if I didn't dig this guy out with for all the polluted oxygen, so I think we just need to go down further. And just have uh, an expectation that this uh, polluted oxygen will go up this way. Okay. All right. Lower and lower with the food. Just realized I've got a little tiny carbon dioxide cache right here. So why not just build the fridge there instead? That way the dupes don't have to go way down here to access their food. All right. Everything edible now put in here, dupes. Rover on this asteroid is shut down. So, not before they produce this oxygen system and power, so that's actually going to be very useful. It's built in sort of this area between this warm and cold area, just kind of perfect just for the dupes right around here. So, figuring that might be really good just to get this base started. Good job, Rover. Just about to go on a space mission. This nutrient bar would actually be really good to bring on a rocket. So we're going to have that delivered right there just before we take off. So now we've got a washroom on the base. Opening the morale by one. I think we're now ready. Let's verify that calories have been put in here they have okay so two dupes are gonna have to go on this mission one to pilot and one to use the trailblazing so i already selected that where are we going we are going to the edge of this asteroid over here that doesn't have a platform 
and dupes whenever you're able. Yeah, I'm just checking that I also... Yeah, gas masks, that's good. We are ready for takeoff. So one dupe shovel is staying behind. They're going to use the telescope, look around to see what we can see from that perspective. But we are advancing in this colony. Reaching another asteroid that has some unique resources. And being able to take advantage of that. So shovels there looking in the telescope. And these dupes are going to arrive in 0.4 cycles. Brains is back in the home world, taking advantage of the new laboratory that's set up in this rocket. Good job. Dupes are about to arrive. Put a platform on Earthistia. Let's see how this goes. All right, a little bit of planning, first of all. We're going to go inside this rocket and see who who's the pilot actually i think they both so that's rocket and bucket i think they both have the piloting skills maybe rocket pilot well rocket definitely does do, do, do. sorry rocket and bucket Yeah, so they it really doesn't matter who which one I pick. I just need to have one that has an open schedule ahead of them. See Rocket sleeping right now. If I wait just a little bit, where's Bucket? Bucket's halfway through their schedule. It would be better to wait for Rocket to wake up and send them down. So they've got a full cycle to build the platform. Just before I send them down, though, I'm going to put them, uh, get them to wear a gas mask. That's why I brought in several of these. So we've got an oxygen mask. Let's get that on Rocket. Do, do, do. Give Rocket a second to put that on. Once that's on... We can go trailblazing. So that's going to be you, Rocket. Yeah, I guess it tells you which ones are the pilots here, which is kind of nice. They both are in this case. We're deploying down. So we're touching. This is the first dupe on this oily asteroid. It's a big achievement here. Let's just watch this happen. So the rover's battery has expired, so we don't have any rovers here, but we will have a dupe. First thing I'll want them to build is this thing right here. Destroy this as a reminder, but uh, this is the focus. If Rocket can create this, the other dupe is able to land. Oh, some meteorites have hit. See, that has caused a bit of a mess. We can dig our way out of that, though. I can almost taste it, Rocket. You're about to put a platform. First platform on this asteroid. Very important asteroid. Yes, reason to celebrate for sure. Okay, so now what we're going to be able to do is actually land on this asteroid. So we'll do that right now. And watch the first rocket land on Earthista. I already have a ladder built in place thanks to the rover and smart thinking ahead. Just to make it easier for the dupes to get up and down out of the rocket. We don't need this guy anymore, so we'll make the rocket a little bit shorter. First task is to dig our way back into this asteroid. Create a little bit of power. Put some algae in this oxygen diffuser. They've got about five tons of algae on board, so we don't have to go searching for algae, which would be way over here, which is very convenient. That's already on the rocket. This is going to make this area here a little bit more oxygen friendly. Well, I guess some bre breathable for the dupes. Some all important algae is being brought out of the rocket, making its way to the oxygen diffuser. 
Might want to do a little bit mopping up. Gonna wait for that to leak out. That was fortunately due to the ice. Actually, that may have had a cooling effect. Oh, it has significantly. Um, which is really nice actually, because this was a very hot zone. So even though there's water, I'm actually kind of happy about that because it's a little bit cooler. What happened to algae over here? Missed what? I assume the dupe put it in, or maybe they ran back in. Anyway, there, there it is. More algae on the way. I was focused on this ice and water. So that should be making its way into the oxygen diffuser. Producing some oxygen in this world, making it much easier to do stuff. So what I did inside this rocket... Yeah, oh yeah, bucket went on break. That's fine. So I'm going to temporary, temporarily get rid of this manual generator. This might, this is a bit of a risky move, actually. I think. Uh, no, I'm going to cancel that because what I want to do, I want to put a critter drop-off station in here. I might get rid of this. Now I was not thinking far enough ahead. I should have brought some dirt because if I had brought some dirt. I don't think there's any dirt really close. I could build a an outhouse. There's some dirt down here, but it's a little far to go. So we're just going to be quick and probably make a little bit of mess. Oh, rocket. Let's uh, get your gas mask off now, I guess. Just taking note that this rocket has been used quite a bit and lots of carbon dioxide has filled up, so I'm going to have to address that soon. Okay, so I have this here. I'm going to put in critters, the or the uh, Dracos, because that's what I want to bring into the rocket. Do that at high priority. Now, one of the dupes will need to have the skill for crit ranching. They're both uh, morale wise not going to be happy about this. Let's take, or I could take both of them and try to get the job done quick and get out of here. Let's stick with rock. How many do we have? Draco, as we've got you. Make this all priority tasks. Wrangle. I think I might give them both skills. I don't want to go too far. Oh, there's an egg. <coughs> Excuse me, there's an egg over here. That's an easy thing to... I don't know if the dupes can get there. And even if they can, they, well, they'll want a mask. You know, I think three Dracos is going to be fine. That'll get us started. We, in fact, we have one already on the base. A Dreklet, I believe. In fact, maybe it's an adult now. Haven't seen it in a while. I'll go. Oh, there it is. Yep, it is. Okay, so it's uh, it's an adult. We can bring it, so we're making these stable, so we can actually put that one in the stable right now. Let's find a drop-off spot for that. What I'm doing now is kind of making this kind of crazy maze situation. Um, I don't build Draco farms or stables very often. So, but I, all I really know is you need to put hydrogen in there. Because they only grow scales when they're in hydrogen. You'll definitely want a grooming station and a shearing station. In fact, if we bring this guy over to that shearing station, we're going to have our first fiber reed. What do we have? Hatch or water? Hatch or water? Let's get some water. All right, just need to make sure that we're at 96 tiles. We've got a cut for, so I will create... Or I will just fill in a few more tiles. Maybe we'll just go from the top. 
and put uh, the Draco that we've got on this base already in here. We've got the first Draco on board. We're going to be taking off very soon. These dupes are not going to be very happy if I stay around too long. Second one is on board. This is actually awesome. So I've got the one back home. I think we're going to push it, get one more, and then we're going to get out of here, dupes. You're doing really well. Just go grab this guy, and we are heading for home. Or at least this uh, world that you were used to being at. Let's have a look at where Shovel has been looking in space. Okay, annihilated satellites way out here. Interesting. Okay, here's the situation. Rocket is uh, the only one with a critter ranching skill. They just went to sleep, which is fine. They're in an oxygen area. Not worried about that. We have an idle dupe on board, and I'm just wondering what they can do. I think, and thankfully, I brought some gas masks. Um, Bucket, first of all, put on the ba gas mask. Do do do. Okay, and then once you've got that on, join me, and let's go onto the Earthist uh, asteroid. How far down can you get here? Can you get down here, and can you grab that Drucko egg? Let's move that onto the rocket. Awesome. Tell them that's a high priority task. And we'll see how this goes. So when Rocket wakes up, I'm hoping they're going to wrangle this Draco. Bring that on board with this egg. And then we're just going to take off and get out of here. And be happy with the fact that we got a Rocket platform that we'll be using for the future. Speeding things up a little bit. I don't think this should be a big task. There we are. Yep, Draco Egg. It's going to be brought on board. Awesome. Rocket's not happy. There is no toilet. They're currently on the this thing here. Let's uh, let's not bother. I'm going to lower that priority. Can I? Just, yeah, let's uh, priority priority six. Let's move Rocket just one. And see if that's going to direct them towards wrangling this. Awesome. You're probably going to make a mess somewhere. But I need you to bring this guy inside the rocket really quickly. If you can hold it, maybe, just maybe, you won't make a mess. I don't think that's going to happen. This is. Oops. This is the last Draco. All right, and then we're going to build the lavatory back. Though you're probably going to go on the asteroid. Actually, I prefer if you make a mess on the asteroid instead of the rocket. Ideally. Looking in here. We're getting close. No one make a mess. Come on now. Not a big deal, but... Uh... All right, let's bring in the lavatory. While all this has been going on, the dupes over on this world have been working with pips and making really good progress in getting sleet wheat all around. So this level is now complete. So what I can get these pips or dupes to do is wrangle these two guys. We'll bring them over. Gotta forget or don't forget to. Oh, I should have did the copy setting. That's fine. Uh, gotta go over here and say this is where I want the pips to be dropped so it's just the same two pips that I've been working with this whole location which is awesome so they're gonna be dropped off over here oh it's not really gonna be that helpful unless I actually lock them in do that we're gonna want some seeds you've got five here I'll start start off with that five that's going oh and I see some here I forgot about grab that another five 
high priority task to bring that down. And I want to prevent the dupes or pips from planting things where I don't want them. So I'm just going to use ground moldings. They don't go here, here, or any of these locations. Basically, I only want you to plant it right here. And just looking for any other wild plants under here. This one's far enough away for the time being. Okay. Oh, yeah. Made a mess. No doubt. That's completely fine and understandable. I should have brought dirt. I would have saved that. Not that that's the biggest deal. Alright, now you got a place to use the washroom. Okay, now here's an important thing. Very, very important. I want to take off. But, uh, actually, hold on. Two things. First, the important thing. Let's re-add Rocket. Because I don't want to take off without <laughs> without them. Because uh, it would be a tough survival mission. They certainly wouldn't be happy. But anyway. The other thing I'm thinking myself. Before we take off. Let's put a, a rover module on. And I will throw a rover back down. To complete the task that the this rover was working on. Just one final task before we go building this rover module. Up that. Come on now, dupes. You can do it. We're getting out of here. Don't worry. Let's uh, take off your mask, actually. But uh, we're, we'll just leave it behind. Just get on. Just get on board. I guess they'll produce a little bit more oxygen. Whoever arrives next time will be thankful for that. Okay. Lander is, or, yeah, rover module is ready. Let's crew this thing. Let's get back. Awesome work. Not fully fueled, but we can make it on a one-way mission there. Completely fine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's change our load. I forgot. We got a rover. We don't want to just blast off and go all the way. We want to go step by step. And just send the rover down and then make it over. That is a nice thing. So that rocket's going to take off. What I'd like the rover to do, I just realized... I could have got the rover down in here and start to build in this comfortable area where there's dirt and other things. Anyway, that's what we're going to do right now. So that rocket is going to go over here. Shouldn't take too long. Pause it for a second. We're going to deploy the rover. So the rover can go down and do some useful things. The dupes need to get back to a more civilized asteroid. And I can use this rover to do some useful things to set up a, a bit more comfortable area for the next dupes that arrive over here on Earthista. So, I have wrangled this Draco over in this area. So, this is actual early access to Drecos. If it wasn't for the printing pod, the first ones that I would be having access to is the ones that are inside this rocket. So, technically, I didn't need those Drecos, but if I get more, this is going to speed up the process of building out... Whoa! Okay, we're exposed to space. We need to fix that right away. Let's go and do that right now. Build tile right there. Highest priority dupes. Well, high enough priority anyway. Chip is here calling the Draco down to the shearing station and we are about to get our first fiber reads 
for this base. Something that the colony could very much use. Just realizing I probably want to change the design of this just a little bit. Let's get rid of this and this and put in a tile right here. Come on. Come on, Draco. Come on. You can do it. Put that down as well. Alright, Chip, he's literally right in front of you. Oh. What is wrong with this Draco? Come on, to the shearing station, to the shearing station. Stable is 96 tiles. We've got a grooming station, a shearing station, and a Draco that just will not cooperate. I'm going to try to reload my game. I just reloaded my game. I have no idea whether that would have worked or not. Chip decided they were too hungry. Don't blame you for waiting that long anyways. We'll see soon whether we get our first piece of fiber reed. While we're waiting for Chip to come back and see if they can use the shearing station, just pumping in some hydrogen. That's just that when this guy does get sheared, there's a little bit of hydrogen area for them to regrow their scales. Hoping this works this time. Start of chip schedule. They just took a shower. Yeah, there we are. So chip is giving us our first material we can use to make Atmo suits. There's reed fiber two pieces but if this uh well, and you're also getting them to get more eggs awesome because having more of those is going to be beneficial oh all right well we have a stable for the drecos and we're able to shear them pumping in some hydrogen now now let's just check on our water system right here so we've got the ability to push more liquid in. I'm assuming the pump is just not submerged. That's fine. But if this guy does release more, he's not going to become overpressured. So very happy about that. So that's a big thing. And of course, these stables that are over here. Just let me check. This one's 96. Still a little bit more work on this one. But the other major thing in this episode... We have a platform on this asteroid, which is really nice. And what I want to start to do now is build a path down like this. So I can get this rover over here to construct some... Oh. Uh. Well, I guess they're not going to be quite be able to because I just didn't, didn't notice the granite... All right. Well, I guess I guess that uh, mission's going to be slightly different. Let's collect some iron and put it just in here so that the dupes have an easy time of loading some iron when they come back. Actually, thinking about it, this actually might be a comfortable if ish enough area given this sort of heat between the hot and cold we'll, we'll see I'll, I'll have a look into that what what can be done over here but me but we have a rocket platform nonetheless all right well thanks for watching and hopefully i will see you in a future episode where i'll continue expanding this colony till then